Welcome to Tiny Hands Big Dreams here in Southern Ecuador. So we're going to talk about our stanchion. Um, if you decide to have goats, then you're going to probably want to milk them. If you want to milk them or handle them, a stanchion is an excellent, um, excellent piece of furniture to own. Now, I built this one. There's a ton just like it. Um, they're all over the internet. I'm going to walk through this and, and go over some of the features um, that I built into this one. And while it seemed pretty simple, uh, getting it right really makes a big difference in being comfortable while you handle and milk your goats. So um, we built this, first of all, for our goats. And our goats are medium to small goats. So uh, we have the, the headpiece here. Now, if you look, there's a cutout that goes from here to here. Now, the smallest goat um, just fits in here, and the tallest goat sits up here. So this is the range we needed, and you literally just have to stand your goat up and measure it, um, or you sort of have to guess at where your goats are going to be. If you have much bigger goats, um, you're going to need a, a bigger stanchion. Now, most of this is built with uh, air-powered uh, staples and glue. So if we look at the feet, these are pieces of 1x4, 1x3, and they're put together, um, stapled and glued. And they're attached into a frame. We'll see a close-up here of that, uh, the construction. Now, the decking, uh, we went with 45 inches long and about 26 inches wide. The, the only problem with this is you tend to milk on one side or the other. Now, some people get a you know the classic little milking spoon. But if you think about that, your knees end up right on the edge, and, and it's a lean, it's uncomfortable. My wife likes to do it by sitting on the edge and, and, and kind of milking the side, it's much more comfortable. She's asked for just a little bit more on an edge for her comfort, so we would build it slightly asymmetrically. Um, this piece, the head piece, one side is fixed uh, with bolts, the other side slides. Now, while most of this could be built out of, out of pretty much any wood, um, as long as it's well constructed, put together, the headpiece uh, needs built out of a hardwood because it has a, a long span and is only held in place um, really by, by this piece of wood in the front, which is bolted. So when the goat is moving around and, and somehow displeased, this holds it pretty well. Now. Some other things. Um, for closure, we've got a chain screwed to one side and a hook. Pretty simple. Um, honestly, we've only ever used it on this same, this same rung, even though I have all this extra. We don't have a goat with a wide net. It's sufficient. Do put this on the back side. As you go to do this, your hands are protected from their horns. Occasionally, there could be a bug and the goat will like flail around and the horns will hit this board. And if your hand is there and it's happened, you can lose bones in your hand. Um, put it on the back side. Totally protected. There's uh, some ropes on the back. Now, some people will say you should never hobble your goat with ropes. Um, mostly no. One of the goats, yes. Goats are individual creatures. And we have one that just... Gosh. Not a lot of nice words for her on a lot of days. Um, she'll dance around, she'll sing. If you set your milk bucket down, you're milking. And then she just decides to just be, be wacky. And she'll stomp the milk bucket and either put her foot in it or knock it down. Problem. So, uh, the ropes. And they're just little slidey knots. Um, you put her leg through to hold it. And she can lift her foot up and down. It just keeps her from going too far in any direction. Now, there are some changes that um, we would like to make to this. It served us well for over a year. So, so the design is pretty solid. Changes we'd like to make. Um, this rope, I would actually like to not be tied to the leg here. Uh, we'll probably put a hole down through the decking, put the rope through, and put a knot. So this isn't as long as this. Um, it can swing out. They, they can still step off. Stepping off is a problem. Uh, other changes, yeah, a little bit wider for the side you like to milk on. 
Um, and I suggest trying both ways. Try with a stool, try doing the side method. If you find you like the side method, build one side bigger so that you have somewhere to sit. Most people will milk left or the milk right. Um, goats will milk left or right. Some do both. You have to know your goats. Um, I've seen people say both, and all of them are left except for one that can look on the other side or to their out. Goats. Um, so that would be a small change we would make. Uh, the height is pretty good. I think we're sitting at about 15 inches. Um, the height is easy for them to jump up on. It's not too high. A few more inches might have been nice, but not too much. So, not to be overlooked, um, is the stanchion itself uh, is, is underneath uh, an overhang. Have a dry place to put this. So I built this structure, um, which is, is, is fairly simple and crude. I have four posts in the ground, a couple of cross beams, um, and then just some thin wood to hold a piece of, of key metal. There's no walls. Uh, it's large enough that the rain does not come in. This stays permanently dry inside. And honestly, it, it, it's, it's quite pleasant. But milking in the rain is miserable. I would not suggest it. So. Definitely think about that. Um, we've added some things over the years. We've added some hooks for hats. We've added a, a drink holder. Um, we've added a, a wonky shelf um, from an old scrap piece of wood. Just to set uh, your tools, your things, uh, occasionally a medicine, just an antibiotic cream, um, some other random things up here. Um, book trimming. Things to think about. Let's have a high shelf the goat can't get to. Comes in handy. Uh, we've added a light. Um, that is used um, on rare occasion if there is some sort of emergency at night. We don't have power up here, so this is actually an RV light that runs off a of battery. Um, it's pretty simple, but it provides some emergency lighting if there was say, an injury or uh, something that lasted into the night and you have to deal with it. Um, we've got a secure tub down here in which we keep a little bit of grain and things for the goats. There must always be a way that they cannot access it. If a goat gets the corn, they will eat it until they get sick and die. But this uh, is just a huge problem. One other uh, possible change that, that uh, we, we had talked about is putting um, little sideboards that are removable, like you would have on a bunk bed. Uh, maybe a, a couple of holes here and a board that could be dropped down in on either side. Now, occasionally we have to do uh, something medical to the goat. They'll get a, a wound, um, a, an infection of something, and we have to we have to try to attend to that. The problem is, is it hurts. Um, local antiseptic only goes so far. So if you're working here and you're pushing on something and the goat is in pain, the goat goes that way and wants to get off. If I could put a board there, like you would have on a bunk bed, uh, just a, a slat with a, a couple, couple legs, to keep the goat from exiting, um, safety would be improved. And... To move it back and forth just as, you know, which side you need to work on would really be a big benefit. Um, we've had cases where two of us had to be up here so one person could hold the goat while we worked on it. Um, the idea is to, to, for this to assist us so that things take less energy, less effort, and we can do our normal our normal duties without multiple people, without a lot of, of setup and things. So walk up, let the goat do the thing, walk away. The easier it is. The better off you're going to be, the more you can, uh, the, the more you can get done in the day, and that's important too. All right. First, we give you the quick walk around. Now, while the rear legs are just one by three, the front legs are a little bigger, uh, like one by four, and then on the side, I actually have, I think, a one by eight. Now that is important. Because this one has to bolt to it, so that front leg is actually in here, and then the other side moves. And you can see that. Now clearance is just a little bit to get some movement. Now those are bolted. Um, those are good sturdy bolts. They have big washers. That is important. The brace piece um, needs to be a very strong piece. 
also needs to be bolted. And then there's just a spacer to allow for these to move. All right, here you can see it flipped up. Rear feet. I have one brace in the middle to help support um, the decking from, from trampolining. And I've got the front. So this is the stationary leg that is fixed in place. That is the movable leg. Uh, besides steel washers, I've also got uh, a big fat piece of uh, wood that I hole sawed as a just as a, an extra bushing in there. It helps divide the load out so you don't have a, a failure point right at the bolt. But all of it is, like I said, uh, I bought a cheap air stapler from Herb Freight. Used the longest staples I could. A little bit of glue, a little bit of staple. Um, and I knocked the whole thing together pretty quick. Didn't take a lot of time. So this slot is only uh, two and a half inches closed. And we made it 15 inches high. Now, that is, on ours, uh, about 13 inches off the deck. And we go all the way up to 29 inches. This allows us um, for the range of goats. All right, so now that I've shown you uh, its components and, and some of the features of it, um, let's go ahead and get a goat up here. And, and we're going to show you what it looks like with a goat on it um, and how you'd be using it. So here's Sally. She is generally our most rambunctious goat. So you can see the relation of the size of the stanchion to the goat. Um, we've got just a little longer, a little wider. Um, she can move forward and there's a few inches to her neck. So this also works for our larger goat, um, which was a little bit taller. And it works well for the, the smaller goats when they will one day be on the stand. <laughs> one, one day. We have hopes. We have a, an up-and-coming male who's just as cute as a button right now. That's not terribly useful, though. Um, he'll get older. He'll get there. <laughs> so this is um, her preferred milking style, where she'll sit uh, kind of off to the side. It's just, you know, it's personal choice as to what you like. This is more comfortable. Um, the goat doesn't mind it. So it works out. All right, so that's our, our milking stanchion. Um, it's a really useful piece uh, thing we use here on uh, the homestead. Um, I, it works out well. Yeah, it works out really well. Um, highly suggest it. Some people just use a, a table or thing, and some, and you can get by. Building the proper tool makes everything much easier uh, and safer. All right. Well, thank you so much. See you for the next one. Thank you.